kind of like play passive, but like Steve has enormous damage, has a very dumb kill option in all of his kill options when Diamond is there because he becomes a different character when Diamond is available. Basically, yeah. He's just such a powerhouse to deal with though. Like he gets to camp you out and he gets to pick up the tools that he needs to win. And there's not a lot of characters that are really efficient with doing that while also still having good movement when it comes to things like Elytra and the minecart being powered up. And that presents itself as a whole scary situation. Uh, but enough about Steve, man. We're all going to see DM here against Elegant Pikachu versus uh, Luigi. Honestly, this is a matchup Elegant doesn't really have too much fun with, but also too much practice with. But nonetheless, man, he takes the first stock like he already knew how to play the entire time. See, the thing with this matchup, right? Like, DM also has some practice uh, against good Luigi's, but this is somebody who, like I said, adaptability is the strongest suit that Elegant has going for him. He's going to slow down his game on purpose and condition DM into bad defensive habits. Like we're seeing so far, he's making him jump where he thinks oh, he's safe. He's no. making him go. No, he's good. Okay, okay, but he's he good. did it. Oh, what are you? What a clash. <laughs> what a run clash. Right up. <laughs> is he trying to read a roll here with that side B? I don't know what's going on here, but... Like, these two characters, much like we were talking about with Steve, let's get segue into this. Don't, don't, he just conditioned you into roll before he's doing it again. <laughs> and look, the, normally DM would be fine. You throw in a, a couple of little, couple little thunder jolts there, you get your opportunities to get Luigi out of the ledge, right? But the problem mm. is that Luigi's profile gets so low. DM went for a forward air, and Luigi was actually able to be so under that it became an anti air. Yeah, I actually really like this stage for Pikachu when he's got the lead because, you know, Thunder Jolts and everything just conditions bad approaches. It covers so many options. But when you don't have the lead, Elegant gets to play this way, look, just like hunts down, grabs, looking for the, the Jolts, finally finds a forwarder KO and doesn't take any damage. D DM really has to get an early KO here. Oh, 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 careful. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was going to say, watch yourself at the end here. Don't panic too much, man. Elegant might take advantage of that double up air, yep. but no thunder. He tried to make a big play, but Pikachu's recovery, man. Not too not too bad. Not too shabby. Just just a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> okay, okay, pretty, pretty solid if I do the same with some myself. Uh, good. I like the fact that he backed off. He knew that frame three narrow is coming or a down or uh, Luigi Tornado. It's not worth when elegant is in a like a position well all trades are in his favor just back off and wait for the the, the swing first punish yeah good good, good opportunity there because that's when you that i think a lot of players need to punish cyclone a lot better but also watch out and bait out luigi cycle because there is a lot of significant and like you have actual time of day to punish and if you get it right you will take a stop just like that what a down smash and then dm has even up the stocks man but it's 88 on dm if elegant gets this grab like so it could be curtains and i okay i was gonna say i hope i didn't curse this man because jesus yeah, DM understands the DI you need to take for that, but you don't get to live that too much longer. Now the now the Mario Brothers playbook comes into play. The book the book of up smash. Believe hard enough and it will succeed. That's game one going to elegant. Oh man, the book of up smash. You gotta read chapter three of the book of up smash. Pikachu will fare from the ledge, and then you can punish. It it it, it is it, it is one of those things you believe in your options hard enough it will always work and mario <laughs> the mario bros actually most of the mario created cast oh they have been blessed upon that up smash and <laughs> they yeah, usually get away with it it's like mario wario peach luigi like <laughs> And uh -huh. you guys want to see, you guys, I actually want Waluigi Rosa. in this game. Yeah, Rosa, like, I don't want Waluigi to have a ridiculous up smash and a back air that's just pretty safe on shield. Like, no, mm -hmm. no more. Not too many yeah, characters. Lo low percent Bowser with tough guy up uh, up smash. Plant? Yeah, really Ooh, Piranha <laughs> Plant? Like oh, excuse me, I forgot Piranha Plant. Uh, by the way, I, I asked this before. I'm curious to see what chat thinks about while we wait for this next match. If you could pick one NPC-based character, this does not include Bandana D because I don't call him an NPC, to get in the game for free, something along the lines of what I would pick, Hammer's, Hammer Bro, who would you pick to be a free DLC to get into this game? I would pick the Pokeball guy from Sword and Shield. Yo, that's a really <laughs> good one, though. <laughs> Pokeball guy from Sword and Shield. What? I didn't even think about that. That's actually really good. It, it just shows up and finally gives you the damn, uh, what do you call it, the flame orb that you couldn't normally use. You just chuck yeah. flame orbs and toxic orbs. It's so hard to get that from him in that game. It took forever. I like the Shy Guy pick. That's shy, guy good pick one. shy Guy pick is good. Shy Guy pick is actually a good pick. I have to commend you for that. Maybe yeah, Dry like Bones? That, like, dry Bones, probably. Dry Bones would be an... I, honestly, another thing that drives me insane about this game uh, is the fact that we keep getting all these Mii costumes. And we have still yet to get goddamn DLC skins. I drive me nuts, but there's the Steve. That's what I was guessing we might see in the set. Just because Steve has a disjoint, and 
I, I can't remember. Oh, it was actually Sharp. Sharp said that when he played against Jake, it was basically playing against Kirosh with a disjoint. That's kind of what you need here. <laughs> you, you need your own version of Luigi, but with a disjoint. Basically, dude. On, honestly, at this point, it's gonna. we'll see how Elegant can treat out DM. I haven't seen Elegant play against too many Steves, honestly. Uh, but definitely, if he, if it is anything like Sharp has mentioned, it shouldn't be too much work for Elegant. One thing, though, to note about Steve is, and as a whole, like he can definitely do an excellent job just like calling out opponents recoveries or aerials or projectiles which oh that's a read that's a big read that's a big read. that was a that was a well, great call out also the tony hawk just killed me a little bit <laughs> so, <laughs> but <laughs> tony hawk isn't an npc he's an actual playable character yeah, in this yo, game Earthworm Jim and tony hawk are npcs they, 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 those are their games <laughs> but honestly like dm uh, is very very knowledgeable in how he needs to approach this matchup. He was trying to play like like the lame game a bit with the Pikachu because he knows it's not worth boxing with Elegant at low percents. But Elegant is gonna find that KO right there. <laughs> Remember when that used to be true every single time? Oh, it still feels like it still is, man. This is yeah, the worst part. It makes it look like it's true always. <laughs> <laughs> I like Elegant's short hot pressure. You need to make sure that you keep Steve not feeling like they can freely go after. Oh my God! If DM got what he was looking for there, the down smash on the builded block, that would have been a stock. Yeah, that definitely would have been. But a uh, real thing for DM here is getting back on the stage, finds the opportunity. Like I said, Steve's mine card is actually pretty good against characters like Luigi, where he obviously opts to hold shield or jump out of shield for options. What on a B, but of Ooh. course, Town and City has been blessed with a great ceiling, and it's going to be DM surviving. Will he be? Okay, I was going to say, mash out, please. Good mash out, and just be careful out of the ledge because Elegant has trade favor. He can swing at you and just be forced basically to center stage at worst. So, a lot of people get a little bit too anti there, and that's not going to KO just yet because he's a little bit too out of percent. But Elegant, if he finds one of these back airs or that, that'll take it. Yeah, or good I'm going to lie to chat. <laughs> Good. Oh no. Oh great DI yeah, DM still wow. living man. He is I don't know about you man, but DM knows how to survive this one for sure. Another attempt. Yeah, this All one right. is gonna be the ceiling. See, that's see, gonna be that's, awesome. That's the one that I was talking about. See that we we it's the rule of three, right? We knew the third one was gonna be it. Also, you know, we were making fun of the Luigi plunger before, right? Projectile and a grab. Well, the minecart's the reverse. It starts off as such a stupid strong projectile, and, and it's also projectile command grab. I want to know what intern convinced somebody to approve that. <laughs> that's all I want to know. Look at this. Oh, what a read. Yeah, that, and that's the thing about Minecraft. That, that was with... just a free setup. Yeah. <laughs> just and gets you pushed ha into it. And you have to be careful, too, because if you don't mash out properly, you either get hit by forward or off stage or up smash. So you have to kind of mash out your timing against Minecraft. You have to be really cautious. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have to actually delay it because at some point they'll, they're going to follow you down. Oh. And if you don't guess right, you get hit by a back air. <laughs> Elegant catching them at the right position, taking game number two. I do still very much like the Steve, though. I know that he didn't win that game, but I, I do like the way it was playing a bit more unless we go back to a flat stage and then you run it back to the future. Right. I think, honestly, the thing for DM and anybody fighting Luigi back at home and watching this VOD, the, the more you camp Luigi and the better you can camp Luigi, the better. Because Luigi's a mm -hmm. character, like, he has really poor neutral options. There's a reason why he's forced to go for things like Zara and Fireball and forced to kind of read your options. The better you camp him, the less you have to interact with him, the better and easier it'll be to win for you. So I think for DM, like, he had the right pick with Steve. Good call out there in the first stock. But honestly, it just comes down to get your good neutral in and actually camp Elegant. If you really want the W, bro, you would actually just camp like Luigi because you have absolutely no reason to approach when you have a lead. But you also should definitely respect characters like Luigi because if you overcommit, what are you going to get hit by Ajax? Up smash, grab to up B, tornado. Like, it's insane. Everything, everything. Bills, gas, and up smash, everything. He's <laughs> just, don't, just don't approach. Just stay away. It, like... I know, I know it is never what anybody wants to hear, but holding forward against Luigi is chaos, and that's how you lose. So you you have to you have to be you have to play slow. You have to bait the Luigi to approach you. That way you can catch them after they've expended their forward air, and then you know that they're going to nair or something on landing because they already did it. This is a character I don't think I've ever actually seen out of DM. I'm not surprised that he has the ability to play it, but we're seeing. I mean, hey, you want to talk about lame game, right? The simplest of them, Luc Lucina's coming in, and it's, it's a pretty good option to pick against Luigi. Yeah, a character that you can do a lot of good stuff, having some pretty safe pokes on the lame game, but also really good neutral. If you have a really good neutral, Lucina will be an excellent pick here. But unfortunately for DM, man, that's 61 right off the bat. And now I was going to say, man, if you want to camp or get anything, that's kind of like not available at this point. You're the one forced to approach Elegant. 
Yeah, I mean, for uh, in my view, with the uh, fighting Luigi, I'll take 60% over death every single day. So it's kind of like the way everybody has to view it the same way heavies view uh, matchups like this. The yeah. rule of 60. You're going to take that damage. Just how do you adjust after that? And you see, like, DM slowed it down a bit since. Correct. So, yeah, 103 here, 76. You're using that excellent up special to get back on the stage. Good poke there with the fourth throw. Not committing. And what a great opportunity to go for the neutral special as well. What an elegant yeah, on the landing. What an interesting idea right there of just going for Shield Breaker as you think he's going to approach. That, that would put him in a good position, too. Uh, yeah, you got to be careful. you got to stay in Shield because that up smash will push you back. You cannot grab that. A lot of people get very antsy to want to grab that. I don't even blame him because it, it, it's one of those things that in the moment you think you can get. But now DM's got to think about that as the match progresses. Right. Oh, this is good for Elvigan. I and mean, really good for DM because, of course, using that up B out of Shield or just using that up B in neutral is really good to get out of situations. Watch that tornado. I was going to say, look, let's think about Edge Garden Luigi. You have to be careful how he plays off the stage and also coming back on the stage. If you're keen, you can just bait out that tornado and then immediately punish him for it. But DM looking for an opportunity, able to get back on the Whoa. stage and the tech situation with the upbeat as well. He needed that. Yeah. Yeah, that one's so unfortunate because, like, the only thing that'll work for Elegant Therapy is if he could get the drift of the upbeat up towards the stage. Wow, you are. So Man, the confidence Man. you have to just roll right up on him like that. <laughs> Luckily, he walked away from it, but. Oh, I sweated. I was sweating for him. I was sweating for I was I sweated for everybody because yeah, that was a lot of confidence. You have to respect Elegant. You can't really just roll on him like that. He will get that punish. But nonetheless, DM, even though there's about 10 per 19 percent separating the two, he's not doing too bad. Gets the punish on the grab there. And then unfortunately, oh I don't God. know in what <laughs> universe was that hurt box extended for just running, but it hit him, and that's why I'm telling you, man, some unpaid intern designed Luigi and said this character was good to go. Look, it turns out we're actually in a sauna because not only was he making me sweat off those options he picked, but he got cooked. He got burnt. Yeah, <laughs> also, he... Elegant got burnt for going off stage for a change. The Dolphin Slash finally finding uh, a reversal, which Elegant avoided like the entire match. I'm telling you, man, Elegant should just be a, somebody who Ooh. plays the slots machine, play, bets everything on, bat, on black, puts in the high card. Like, man, this man has some of the best RNG in of all time. Now, do you, do you expend that, though? Because you always want to run it while it's hot, right? So if right. the, the, have a good point. the Luigi players, the, will, will they be cursed away? Will RNGs just frown up, like, uh, unkindly upon them? But then again, I guess if Elegant gets that one big roulette and walks away with $2 million, uh, I mean, that's one less Luigi we got to fight. So <laughs> <laughs> right now, we're currently on last stock. DM could be looking at elimination. If he can't find this edge guard, you know he's going to go deep. But y you know what? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Don't go, don't go to the casino. Just keep riding on how many times you get these misfires. I'm telling you, man. Like, <laughs> he's got to bet it all. I'm taking this man at Eve. Oh, no. Oh, DM. no. I respect it, though, because from the looks of it, DM wanted to avoid that back air and just overall Luigi's stage presence at the ledge. But unfortunately, man, like in the avoidance of that, you dip a little bit too low. And even though Uppy has really good height, it's not all, not the highest all overall. So that that is truly unfortunate. Just like 